keeping it quiet. Uh. I pull up, you know I be moving. Whipping the four and I'm cruising. The money I'm speaking is fluent. This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa. The Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Hi, Tiffany. Hi. What's up? Well, I need your help because I've been dating this guy, Ted. We met at the airport. I'm in and out of the airport a lot for work, and uh, he was super sweet. I saw him at the service desk, and he was helping out some people, and I loved the way he, like, talked to them with a lot of compassion. So I put some moves on him, <laughs> and uh, then we started going out on some dates, and it was going great. But now all of a sudden I'm getting one word answers and uh, I want to know what's up. Okay, so he hasn't completely uh, like abandoned everything. He has not completely ghosted me, but it's been a significant decline. And I'm I'm in and out of, of the city, you know, like I don't get to see him all the time. So texting communication is really important for us. And it's been a complete change. So you what are you? Are you like a stewardess or like oh. your flight attendants? The steward is offensive. <laughs> no, I it's apologize. not offensive. It's just you know, oh. the, the more updated term oh. is flight attendant. Yeah. Do you do that? We do go. Yes, I do that. We do okay. go by flight attendants now. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so we will try and call this gentleman for you then next. Okay. Now back to the second date update on the ten with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot ninety six nine. All right, we just spoke to Tiffany, who uh, is a flight attendant, and she saw this guy, Ted, at the airport being really nice to people, and that, that caused her to, to put the moves on him. And they hung out for, uh, for a while. Now, is there anything, before we call him, Tiffany, is there anything you think you did perhaps the last time you guys hung out that turned him off? No, we had a great time. We went out dancing, had some good dinner, you know, had a great night, and I'm a little confused. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to call him now. Stay quiet, okay? Hello? Hi, is this Ted? Uh, yeah, that is Ted, is it? Okay, so Ted, um, my name is Romero. I'm here with Pebbles and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. And so I can explain why we're calling uh, you. Wait, no, who, who's your... Really? Okay, so we got your phone number. Just let me explain. We got It's a good thing. We got your phone number from a girl who would love to go on a date with you. And the reason we're calling you is because we'll pay for whatever date you choose. So you literally tell us whenever you're free, where you'd like to go, all that stuff. Now, it, you know her. So when I tell you the name, it's going to sound familiar. And, and hopefully, it's going to put a smile on your face. Hopefully. Uh, Crossing fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Tiffany, the flight attendant. Oh, Tiffany. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I know Tiffany. We we actually went out a couple times already. Yes, you did. So okay. we, we didn't it, get the, you know, traditional. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying yeah. so it's good. So it's yes to a date Promise. with Tiffany? Yeah, uh, I don't know, though. I mean, we went out a couple times, and I, I just don't think it's, uh, I don't think it was meant to be, honestly. You don't think it was, okay, Kate, but how about just going out with her one more time and what's one more date that you don't have to pay for? I, I don't know. There's just some. I went. You know, I, the, the last girlfriend I had, I had a bad experience with, and I'm just getting these vibes from her. And I just, I don't think I should. I don't want to go any further with it. I think that's enough. Okay, bad vibes. Yeah, like what? Yeah, yeah. yeah you can overcome those. That's like not a big deal. Well, what kind of vibes? Like, uh, I work at the airport. That's actually where we met, mm -hmm. and she was coming in last week. I knew when she was going to be coming in. So I wanted to surprise her, uh, got her flowers, and um, I saw her, because I was kind of, she didn't see me, and I saw her started running towards somebody. She was running to this guy, and she just like, this older guy, and she just like jumped into his arms and was, you know, really happy to see him and hugging him and kissing him, and honestly, he looked like this fat, like, piece of shit. He was older. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I, I think it's terrible. I don't know what was going on. So I just, I ran out of there. I threw the flowers away and just went home and. Okay, uh, I'm not, sorry, guys. I have to, oh, okay. I have to interrupt. Uh, okay, Ted, okay, I'm wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, man. Oh. Uh, Ted, Tiffany's on the line and she heard what you just said about her. Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah. then there you go. Now you know why. Because I ran into some fat guy. I, who the, who the f are you talking about? When, when was this? 
Seriously. Last week when you flew Last in. Last week. Okay, so I think the fat guy that you're talking about was my grandmother, you idiot. What? Oh, my oh God. My, I thought she was going to say my grandfather or my father. Yeah. She said, you said Are grandmother? You? My grandmother's a little bit overweight, and she she likes to keep her hair nice and short. Oh. So I understand you can that from the my. back. But, like, anyone who like, would even give five seconds could see that that was my grandmother. You, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I could see that. Ted. That was your grandmother. <laughs> you yes, thought her grandmother was, was a guy? She surprised me. Can we just rewind to yeah, the part yeah, where you called, uh, where Ted called Tiffany's grandmother a fat piece of Unbelievable. <laughs> you might want to say I'm sorry for that. Uh, I don't think he is. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't believe it. As he laughs. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if Tiffany put from behind to look like Bill Parcell. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God. You need to stop talking. <laughs> Seriously, how did you yeah. get confused that? Like, how did you screw that up? You know, I don't know. I just it must have just been my anger. I must have just got so, mad and just I wasn't even thinking. Could you imagine him waiting for her with flowers? Sees her running to her <laughs> grandmother. <laughs> thought it was a guy, so he threw the flowers down and ran off. Okay, so. Hey, That's a simple misunderstanding. Very simple misunderstanding. People people, <laughs> people confuse my grandmother for a man all the time. So, oh um, my god. So, okay, so now we know what. You guys should go out to dinner and discuss this. Laugh what? it off. Discuss it? What's there to say? <laughs> yeah. He was mean. <laughs> well, that was before he knew it was a relative. Yeah. So now that he knows I and mean, if yeah. things go well and he meets a grandmother, I mean, like, like, yeah. Yeah. Well, look, can't it's, lie. it'll be our little secret. Secret. Oh, okay. Us five yeah, right. and everybody who's listening right now. <laughs> so, uh, Tiffany, do you still want me to ask? Um, no, no. Actually, I can't. You know, I can't go anywhere. You can't meet my my nana, and I love her so. I mean, you have to. Have you ever looked at your grandmother from behind? Oh, oh God, we go. Stop. 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 Tomorrow on the second date update on the tens. All right, so, if your date leaves. While you're taking a shower, getting ready for the day, you should probably just let it go and chalk it up as a, let's just say, take the L on that one. But if for some reason you, you need to know why they left before the date even started, that's why you hit us up. That's what happens with Steve. Second date update on the 10s. Wait until you hear it tomorrow morning at 810 right here on 969.